Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Jess and this is my brand new channel, The Farmer's Table, where I will be talking to you all about real food. Primarily cooking it, preserving it, enjoying it, sharing it. Uh, today I am doing a video that's somewhat new for me. I've shared in the past on my main YouTube channel, or I guess I should say my original um, YouTube channel, Roots and Refuge, my Azure Standard Hauls, but I've never had an Azure Standard Haul as big as this. This is the most I have ever ordered in one month from this company. And today I want to tell you a little bit about why I bought all these things and like what I plan to do with them. This size order is new because this last six weeks we have been doing a personal challenge here in our household to not do any regular grocery shopping um, outside of like a special thing where the school has asked me to go pick something up or something like that. We have been just using food out of our pantry and from bulk buying like this. And the point of that challenge for us personally was to eliminate any sort of convenience foods that we were falling back on, impulse buys, getting tempted by sales, um, and just really eliminating the last vestiges of processed foods kind of having a hold in our diet and pushing us to really use what we grow. With that being the case, we we're going into the holiday season and because I saved so much, I spent nothing at the grocery store last month which is wild um, I was actually able to roll that in and this is your standard order represents about $800 which is a lot of money to spend at once on groceries but again if you are not spending money at the grocery store you can kind of roll that in this is also quite a few of the things I bought today are for the holidays and for like the holiday baking and cooking Azure standard is a business where bulk buying is an option it's really great if you live in a place that you don't have a lot of access to organic and whole foods um, I live in a really rural place Place. my local grocery store does not have a lot of options I have to drive about 45 minutes to get to a grocery store that does have options and even there there's nothing bulk which can be very expensive if you have a large family and then I have to drive over an hour to get to a buying club like Costco or Sam's so Azure Standard actually does save me a good deal of money it definitely saves me time um, I you order it online and then you go pick up at like a local meat point mine's in Gilbert um, if you're a local person uh, it's once a month it can be a little bit inconvenient. It took me a while when I lived in Arkansas to kind of get into the groove of using this service, but it is something that I've really enjoyed having, especially since moving even more rurally, where I just can't find great local options um, for a lot of these things. I will put a link to the Azure website down below if you want to check it out. I, I do recommend it. I think it's really good. Uh, you can note when you're shopping. Um, a lot of times they'll have different sizes that you can buy, like you can buy a single unit or you can buy a case uh, sometimes you can buy like a small container or you can buy a bulk container but they always break down the price per ounce M whatever measurement that is that they're using typically it's ounce but they'll break it down so you can really see how much you're saving by buying bulk and then you just weigh out okay if this if this is shelf stable for another two years I can go ahead and buy a six pack even if I know it's going to take us a year to get through it because I'm saving a significant amount by buying six at once instead of one and that is how I have really pushed into as far as building a pantry at home. I kind of cycle. I've been doing this for a while, so my pantry at this point is very stocked. It can be really uncomfortable to make the step into bulk buying because if you have a really set budget, it's like where in the world do I find the money to do this? So for me, um, the way we kind of came into that was finding places where we could cut corners, which typically came with cutting conveniences, and then taking the money we saved by like, for instance, making bread from scratch instead of buying bread, or buying bulk oats instead of buying little packages of oatmeal, and then you roll that into buying bigger packages. And eventually what happens like you'll notice on my order this month I ordered quite a few things of cheese um, I order cheese maybe every four or five months um, because it actually lasts quite a while in the fridge I don't have to buy cheese the rest of the time so it kind of works out that now I may spend a significant amount of the budget this month on cheese for the next four months I spend zero dollars on cheese so um, eventually you kind of get into that cycle when you take when you get the savings and roll them into bulk buying and then the next month use what that freed up to buy another thing bulk. I think it took me probably about 
18 months of like steadily pushing in that direction to get to where I was comfortably shopping like this. So just so it's realistic, it doesn't have to be immediate. You don't have to go drop $800 on groceries, you know, right away. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually ever done that. The one thing I did on this order was I got two 20 pound boxes of organic apples. Now, when you do order stuff like this, occasionally you'll have a couple that look really cruddy. So these are gonna be the highest priority. Most of these look really good. However, they do offer a B grade option and whenever I can get a B grade option from them I will because with a B grade option a lot of times you can get a 20 pound box of organic apples for sometimes about like 20 bucks now the A grade are a lot of times like 26 to 28 dollars which I still feel like is a pretty good deal per pound compared to how much you pay for organic apples like at a grocery store in a three pound bag uh, but when I buy these I know they're coming and I make sure that I am mentally prepared that when they come I'm going to spend a lot of time processing these so I've got 40 pounds of apples here I got one box is Honeycrisp and the other box let me see I can't remember is Fuji apples and my plan with these is I'm going to cut up these a lot of them into slices and freeze dry them that'll be for my kids lunches um, and I'm also planning on canning multiple things of apple pie filling and probably apple butters some of the apple butters will be for our personal use and then I'll do some in really small jars like little four ounce jars then I'm gonna go in the baskets that I'm planning on giving friends and family for Christmas gifts so um, 40 pounds of apples I know that sounds like a lot and if you were gonna sit down and eat them one by one it would be a lot. However, I would say that since we haven't had apples in our house to speak up for six weeks, we haven't really had a lot of fresh fruit because we're not going to the store regularly. My kids could probably polish off at least 15 pounds of these apples in the next week if I let them just eat them unrestrained. They would eat a lot of apples and they probably will take some in their lunches fresh, eat some for after school snacks, grab one in the morning. Um, so 40 pounds is not a ton. Like that's not, I'm not going to have to spend just a ton of time canning those. They will cook down and, um, what I mentioned using them for will use up all of these. So a lot of times when you get things, if you have like small individual units, they'll box them together. I actually forgot one of my boxes. I thought I had all of them. I miscounted and I left. But you end up making friends with your Azure standard people. Actually, uh, multiple pe multiple of my in real life friends I met at the Azure standard uh, drop, interestingly enough. And my friend Nick called Jeremiah and said, hey, Jess left one of her boxes. So he grabbed it and he's gonna bring it out here. He's actually coming out here tomorrow, so. All right, so I got some peanut butter chips. I did not buy these bulk because we won't use a ton of these, but I wanted to get them because we're going into the holiday season. We're going to be baking and making sweets and treats, and so I figured we would use these to make some cookies. I got a package of apple pie spice. Also, not something that I felt like I needed to get bulk, but since I did want to make some canned jars of apple pie filling, I felt like that would be a good thing to have. And I saw some people on um, online talking about the Azure apple pie spice saying that it was really good. And so I thought I would try it. A few things of Parmesan cheese, just three little blocks of this. Make soft cheeses with our milk here on our farm. I have yet to conquer hard cheeses, and I mean that will be reflected in what I bought today. That's something that I would really like to learn. I may make that a goal this coming year, but I don't know if it's reasonable. Because um, I know you need like certain amounts of space to let those things cure, and I don't really know that I have it right now. Let's see, I got one single jar of tahini. I use tahini with canned chickpeas, which I have quite a few of those out in the pantry. I actually have dry ones as well to make hummus, which the kids really like. And I also use tahini to make baba ganoush with eggplant, which I'm kind of on the tail end, like it's already frozen, but I have quite a few eggplants picked and I was out of tahini, so that's why I got that. I got two jars of those. I thought I only bought one. Oh well, that's okay. It's um. Yeah, refrigeration not necessary. This should be fine. Yeah, it's good until 2024. So that was actually an accident, but I got a three pack of dish soap. I buy dish soaps and I've bought some spray cleaners from Azure. We use a lot of like vinegar and stuff to clean, but for dish soap, they have a pretty good product. And again, I'm not going into the grocery store, so it's something that I just needed. 
And I got a, a little bag, one pound bag of arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder is like a thickener, kind of like cornstarch. My son Jackson has an, a, an allergy to corn. So uh, that's just something, if I'm like thickening up a soup or a stew or using it for that purpose, I use arrowroot instead of cornstarch for him. All right, we love cheese. Let's talk about it. Here are three different cases of cheeses. Um, this is actually mozzarella. As I said, this is actually one cheese I do make from our farm. And I would say I make it pretty regularly. However, um, this is just for the sake of convenience, having it on hand. Cheese lasts for a really long time in the refrigerator. So this says Best Buy March of 2024. So that's five months from now. And we all know food actually lasts a pretty good bit, especially something like cheese lasts beyond the Best Buy date. So this cheese will last us a long time. Now, Azure does have an option to buy like really big blocks of cheese, like five pound blocks. I don't ever buy those. Just because when you have kids dealing with things, if they're gonna be getting into stuff and opening it and cutting it with the big blocks, I feel like it gives more option for contamination of things being touched and potentially growing mold. So I always buy the cases of the one pound blocks just because it makes it easier for everybody to make sure that they do stay sealed and fresh because I am counting on these lasting. This one says it's good until 824. So I mean, that's 10 months. We'll definitely get through it in that amount of time. This this is a, a raw milk medium cheddar and then I also got the raw Monterey Jack. I got a case of each of these. These cases run somewhere between like $50 and $60 for a package of sometimes it's 10 sometimes it's 12 it has all of the weights listed just pay attention so you know what volume of food that you're getting but compared to going to the store and buying a comparative like raw milk cheddar this is significantly cheaper and i've got it it's here i don't have to think about it so this is how i do it and like i said i, I order multiple cases of cheese like this maybe two or three times a year from Azure and that is typically the cheese we use. I do have a dairy sensitivity so you might go through more cheese than this if you are always making very cheese heavy casseroles and dishes like that. I don't really do that because that's not something we can all sit down and eat but I would say I mean going through this much cheese every four or five months with five kids in the house is pretty reasonable. My kids cut it up and eat it for snacks, um, shred it and put it with food. Like we do not buy shredded cheese because it has allulose and additives to it. So we just use the cheese shredder on the food processor and do it all, do it, you know, a whole block at a time. That's pretty much how we use it. And don't get me wrong, I wish I, I could, I love cheese, I love cheese. But my heart says cheese, my body says no. <laughs> I gotta get some lighting for inside my house if I'm gonna be shooting a lot of videos in my kitchen. All right, the next thing I got a case of was these 32 ounce containers of organic apple cider vinegar. For a second, I thought that, that was leaking, but it's not, it's just condensation. Um, this is, let's see, 12 bottles of this. This will last me a good while. Um, I do use a good deal of apple cider vinegar. A couple of these I'll make fire cider out of, but the rest of them will just be used for, you know, pickling and throwing in broth and just anything that we could possibly use ACV for. So um, it really depends. It's hard for me to say exactly how long this will last, but I probably will not buy apple cider vinegar again until the summer, I would think. Maybe spring. It just depends on how much pickling I do, but it's good stuff. Next, I got a case of Fair Trade Organic Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips. This is a little bit of a splurge. I actually bought one of these last month as well. These sell out often on Azure, so I put them in my cart, kind of expecting sometimes for them to not go through. Sometimes things will sell out and you won't get them. But um, I went ahead and got them and that's fine. I won't buy chocolate chips again for a good while, but I wanted to make sure I had them for making cookies and fudge and all of the holiday yummy things, peppermint bark. Here, this is something that I actually very rarely buy, but this is because of the holidays. I bought an entire case of butter. Now we have dairy cows. We make butter. We make a lot of butter. However, the grass stops growing and the cows go on to hay primarily, um, they don't make as much cream in their milk. And when they don't make as much cream in their milk, we don't get to make as much butter. And I have a good deal of butter in my freezer, but with 
Christmas time and baking and all of that and kind of covering the winter I wanted to make sure that we had extra butter so this is a whole case of these each one of these is um, let's see how much is this I should have printed out my yeah this is 15 pounds there's 15 of these one pound uh, tubes and this is like good cultured grass-fed butter it's a Sierra Nevada brand. They they used to carry this other one called Petaluma Gold that was some of the best butter I've ever had. And that's not been, they haven't had that for a while. So I got this, I've, I've got this once before. I got this last winter actually. And it was just like our supplemental butter over the winter. And um, I won't have to buy this again because by the time we get through this, the grass will be growing again and the cow's milk cream production will go up and we'll have more butter here. This is the first time for me to ever buy this and I do not anticipate this being like a regular repeated purchase. I bought a case of gluten-free soy sauce. We don't use just a ton of soy sauce but I do like hibachi on the blackstone and make fried rice and stuff like that and of course I put soy sauce in that and we do, Jeremiah and I both do not eat gluten so that's what this is for. I bought the case because like I said like I typically will buy bulk and this is something that has a really long shelf life so buying several to save some money just is you know one would probably have lasted us for a while but with that case that'll i mean we won't probably won't get through that in the next year oh yeah i forgot about this okay so case buying there's two things here that are also not normal purchases for me um you can make brown sugar by mixing regular sugar with molasses and I often do that throughout the year like I don't I can't say that we use just a ton of brown sugar but I usually keep a container made up for cookie and muffin recipes um, sometimes we'll make lattes with it where we'll put a spoonful of brown sugar in and pull an espresso shot put some milk on it and we'll put in oatmeal that's another thing we do with brown sugar but I mean we're not using large amounts of it so just making it ourselves is fine you can make powdered sugar by blending regular sugar in a Vitamix until it is powdery and a lot of times we do that I don't find myself in great need of powdered sugar I make cinnamon rolls and I'll use powdered sugar for the icing it's really just for making icing it's the only time I really ever need powdered sugar but preparing to go into holiday baking this is one of those things that I just decided to buy cases of these to simplify and remove one step that we have to do so this way we won't have to make a lot of powdered sugar or brown sugar so I got a case of the dark brown and a case of powdered so we'll use these over the holidays whatever is left over will go into the pantry for use throughout the year and obviously long shelf life if if there's any if there's much left over which there actually probably won't be because we do a lot of baking and we bake for gifts but um, if there is anything left over it's not going to go bad here I got a case of applesauce. I'd actually considered buying an extra box of apples and making a lot of applesauce because my kids take that in lunches and we buy the bigger jars and then we just break it up into little containers and they take it. Um, but I was just assessing all the things that I have to do with finishing up preserving what's coming out of the garden and then of course going into the holidays and the fact that I was already buying 40 pounds of apples to process and I actually removed the third box of apples out of my my cart and added the case of pre-made applesauce. It's kind of like with the brown sugar and the powdered sugar. For me, cooking from scratch and trying to do things from scratch really requires a healthy dose of honest with yourself um, because it's great to have the best of intentions but if you overwhelm yourself and you can't do it I'm the kind of person that kind of shuts down like if I have 10 things to do and I can only do nine I end up doing two because I, you know I get overwhelmed by that one I can't do so I try to be very honest with myself when I am planning out my time and leave a little bit of margin for things that I'm not anticipating so that I'll get the nine that I actually can do done. So the making the applesauce from scratch was the 10th thing that I decided to bump off and buy um, by the, by the pre-made applesauce. And it's fine. That stuff is really good. It's the 
It's Solana Gold Organic Blend Applesauce. The kids like it. It's all fruit. It doesn't have sugar added to it, so I like that. Here's another case of Christmas cooking stuff. Not a product that I normally buy at all. Again, I just end up buying a case because... I don't know. It just, I, it's, it's at this point so ingrained in me. I probably could have gotten away with just buying a couple of them. But I got some corn syrup, um, which is hilarious to me because I avoid corn syrup in food so much. But this is like non GMO corn syrup. This is definitely a better product than the high fructose corn syrup that we're avoiding in food. Uh, however, I got this to make pecan pie for the holidays. And I'll make that at. Uh, Thanksgiving and I'll make that at Christmas and I won't make a lot of it we don't have a ton of pecan pie eaters but it's a very nostalgic thing in our family so I made accommodation for it let's see I also have here this is uh, just a bag 50 pound bag of cane sugar I bought a bag of cane sugar on my last Azure standard order and we are not anywhere near that however um, holiday baking I, I will use my old cane sugar first I've, I've got some in storage but that will replace it. I bought a big bag of Thai jasmine rice, organic rice. We eat a lot of rice. I'm a born and raised Arkansan, and um, if you don't know this, Arkansas is one of the top producers of rice in the country. In Arkansas, the food is, at least where I grew up, I, you know, I grew up, my family's from South Arkansas, and the food is very influenced by Louisiana. And so rice is just a really kind of stable dish. And being gluten-free, rice is kind of a go-to side dish for us. Uh, we have a rice cooker and we eat rice multiple times a week. So uh, jasmine rice is one that I like. I like to buy it organic and I bought that because uh, we're running just a little bit low. The last thing, which I need to look at my list and see, because I have my purchase list, because I'm missing that one box and I need to see what it is that I'm missing. My last thing, which I feel so silly for buying, but it's fine, it's okay. I bought a 50 pound bag of russet brown potatoes because I was thinking of Thanksgiving coming up and not having potatoes <laughs> because I'm not going to the grocery store. Um, this, a lot of times, like I said, you have options of how you want your food, how it's broken up. So you can actually buy a 50 pound one bag of potatoes, or in this case, you could buy 10 5 pound bags, or was it 5 10 pound bags? No, 10 5 pound bags. So it's still 50 pounds of potatoes, they're just individually packaged. Um, in some cases, I mentioned with the cheese, I definitely have a preference. In a lot of cases, I just look and see which one's cheaper. And this one was probably cheaper by like cents because I would not have chosen this. I would have just gotten the big bag, but it's fine. Um, I did not anticipate harvesting more potatoes from our farm this year because I we already did our big harvest in like June and there are a lot of those are starting to sprout um, so mostly what is left now will get put to the side to be seed potatoes in the spring and I just thought we were done I knew we had replanted some but like I just they they hadn't even flowered I just didn't think they were going to do well we ended up getting quite a big potato harvest so I'm going to have a lot of potatoes now so I may be looking at doing some canning with these and preserving um and you know figuring out how to use those because I've got more potatoes than I anticipated so that's it that is my haul of food like I said there is a missing box and I, I'm remembering now it's actually frozen stuff I think I had some frozen peas and um, I can't remember but it was a few things from the freezer which makes sense as to why I missed it I thought I had them all and I left but they pulled the freezer stuff off the truck last I'm glad I had a friend there somebody would have called me and I would have just turned back and gone and got it but friend my friend Nick did me a, did me a favor there by taking that home and saving me a trip back this is a lot of food obviously like this would be hard to just take this and that be it. You know, I mean, this isn't a rounded amount of food that we could eat just off of this for a month. Though I would say this is, you know, we've got a pretty solid good amount of food here, but there's not, as you'll notice, there's no meat. Um, that's because we, we grow our meat. Uh, there's not a lot of vegetables because primarily we grow our produce. Um, this is largely grains, fruits that we can't grow, um, small staples, things that I can't make, and then of course the exception 
options for the holiday cooking. Uh, but if I were to take each of these individual things and go buy this exact same product at the store, not only would I have to drive an hour to get to it, I would spend significantly more and I would be spending a lot of my time. So I like this, it works for me. And my Azure standard order will look completely different next month. Like none of this stuff will be on it because I just got it this month and I'm putting it into the pantry and next month it will be the next things in the cycle that I'm starting to notice are getting a little bit low. So thank you guys. I hope this helps you kind of wrap your mind around the way that this works. Um, you can start small on shopping like this, going to one bulk thing. If you'd like to hear more about bulk buying, let me know. Let me know what your questions are because I'd love to make content that helps you in regards to this. I can show you some of the other things that I do by bulk that obviously I didn't buy this time uh, that have really helped me. Whatever it is that you're interested in i'd love to be able to help and help you find um, food freedom and real food thank you guys for hanging out with me today and bless you until next time